Welcome to Everything Sacred, ASAP's religion video series. I'm Hilary Rhodes. This week we meet a group of people who are trying to bring Christ to Buddhists, and we talk to some Buddhists about their beliefs. But first, the religion rundown. In the week of May 9th through 16th, Pope Benedict XVI visited Brazil during his first Latin American trip as pontiff. Families attended a rally in Rome to give legal rights to unmarried couples. The proposed legislation has split Italian society amid calls by the Pope to defend the traditional family. Former rivals in Ireland met for a ceremony of reconciliation at the symbolic site of the Battle of the Boyne, where Protestants fought Catholics in 1690. The first bishop ordained by China's state-sanctioned Roman Catholic Church, not affiliated with the Vatican, died at age 90. Thousands of Bosnian Muslims attended a mass funeral for 93 people killed by Serb forces in the 1990s. The bodies were exhumed last year from a mass grave and identified using DNA. And the Reverend Jerry Falwell died at age 73. The televangelist who founded the Moral Majority helped shape the religious right into a viable political force. What's wrong with Buddhism? A little yoga never hurt anybody. A passage or two from The Art of Happiness by the Dalai Lama. But in the new book, Jesus in a New Age Dalai Lama World, Christian missionaries explain why they think Buddhists are missing something. To learn a little bit more about the two sides of this picture, we went to a Buddhist retreat led by Lama Surya Das, who grew up in a Jewish household in Long Island, and a meeting of Christians in Northampton, Massachusetts, who were preparing for the Dalai Lama's visit to their town. I believe that the Christian message is truth with a capital T. Because I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ as presented in the scriptures as being the truth. Uh, Jesus, after his resurrection, what, what did he feed his followers? Fish. Uh-oh. Fishing is one of the worst things you can do in, in, in Tibetan Buddhism because the loose spirits dwell in the lake. The Buddhist religion teaches that there is no supreme being, only emptiness. The ultimate goal of life is to enter a state of nirvana, or enlightenment, which sets a person free from suffering in the endless cycle of death and rebirth. I didn't see a lot of hope in what they believe. It's, it's a lot of repetition of things and not knowing what the future holds and kind of fear of the unknown. And, and I don't believe that's what God wants for people. I think he can offer them more hope. Most Tibetans spend their lives in an endless quest for merit. I think they're missing something. I think they are both in this life and in the next. And I pray that they would have it. You could use the word enlightenment, but you could say enlightenment knowing that Jesus is the light. I wish that everybody would have that. That would be fabulous. I was born thinking a, a certain way, and, and as soon as I came across Buddhist teachings, it completely resonated to the way I already thought about things. My mother and father are Catholic, and I was sort of like, you know, forced to go to church every Sunday, and I never really, I never liked it because I just didn't believe what was being, you know, told. Breathe, relax, center, and smile. That's, I know it's like kindergarten talk, it's very important. We're so in our head worrying about the future. We want to let go of the future. Breathe, relax, center, and smile. Where's the future when you're breathing out? I really believe that all religions are pathways to the same thing. There isn't any evidence to me that Christianity has the one true path to God and that Jesus is the only prophet. <laughs> So the Buddhists thought everybody was on the same path, and the Christians thought they were on the one true path because they have Jesus Christ. It's quite a conundrum, but something for everybody to think about. This has been Everything Sacred. You can email us at everythingsacred at ap.org. For more news and culture, visit asap.ap.org. For ASAP and Associated Press, I'm Hilary Rhodes. <laughs>